Hello everybody, this is Rojo. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about this video. In this video, I will show you how to sketch a quetzal bird from start to finish. Enjoy. The importance of sketching is that it builds your drawing skills, but more importantly, it builds your brainstorming skills. Sketching allows you to quickly get your idea out onto the paper. First, you visualize it in your mind and then you sketch it out onto the paper. That's it. The importance and simplicity of sketching. Here we go. So I'm going to start to sketch out a bird. And this is just a bird that I found online. And I think I typed in bird in flight, something along those lines and I came across one that I enjoyed. So uh, I am one of those artists that like to use a reference. I find that reference is key. And for you to start to sketch out something, you know, you just kind of dive right into it. And that's what I did here. At a point where I like the way the wingspan is coming out. The head is just not in the right spot though. So I noticed that early on. And sometimes you can continue and try to fake it, but knowing that I have a reference and comparing the reference back and forth, I start to notice I don't like it and I trash it pretty much. Now, as you can see, I put another piece of tracing paper and that's just a technique that I uh, acquired at going to American Academy of Art. And it's something that I remember using over and over again because it's a good technique to kind of overlay the tracing paper so you can manipulate the drawing so if i like one drawing on one tracing paper and another drawing on another tracing paper you can overlay it and you can compose it to where it's at a good point to take it to the next level and that's the drawing so as you can see at this point i did a much better job rendering the wings the wings are a bit larger therefore the bird looks a bit more like the reference that I'm using so I like the way the wings look as a sketch therefore I start to spend a bit more time on the head of the bird so at this point I'm just sketching I'm using a regular lead pencil that I bought at the store nothing fancy about it and it's just something that I particularly like to use. Sometimes I'll throw in a little 6B pencil just to get the darks a bit darker. It's totally up to you, okay? The point of a sketch is just to enjoy the process. Just kind of get it out on paper as quickly as you can. You know, before the idea kind of evaporates, right? You want to get it out on paper because sometimes you'll have these ideas that are just, oh, let me get it out on paper quickly. Let me get a piece of paper and a pencil and just get it out there. And sometimes just like that, the idea will be gone. But at this point, I just kind of wanted to draw a bird. Again, I use the reference, something I found online. And sometimes these sketches can be as quick as five minutes. But in this case, I believe it was about 20 minutes of sketching. And start to throw in some lights by erasing throw in some darks by pressing down on the pencil a bit heavier so at this point i'm leaving the wings alone and i'm focusing more on the body now it's totally up to you i tried to vibe out on some music in the background and just kind of focus in on the reference that i'm using you know there isn't really a time limit Sometimes these come out on the first try. Apparently this one didn't because I had to trash the first attempt and that's okay. The point is to get to the final stages of the sketch, okay? And it's totally up to you as the artist to understand how deep, how realistic you want it to be. You know, a sketch is a sketch for a reason. It's just to be loosey-goosey as they say, you know? You can make some scratch marks, you can make some textured lines. I'd like to blend with my finger just because I like the grittiness of it. So 
start to throw in some darks here as you can see going a bit heavier with the lead pencil here as you can see like I mentioned earlier using my finger to blend if you have a blending stump that works too I also find that drawing on top of this tracing paper it allows for you to blend a bit uh, faster you know compared to a white piece of paper again I don't know why I just kind of got accustomed to sketching on tracing paper it's a bit different from sketching onto a white piece of paper but that's totally your preference at this point I think I wrote down my time something I tried to tell my students to just make sure how much time it takes you to do something you know because eventually you're going to get to a point where you'll start to charge for things charge for illustrations drawings paintings and you don't want to sell yourself short so you kind of want to understand how long it takes you to do a sketch or a drawing or a finished painting that way you can charge accordingly and not sell yourself short so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed my first video on sketching i'm going to try to do a few more of these um, every few weeks I'm learning as I go, so be patient. I'm trying to make these entertaining and full of knowledge. I'm going to try to let you guys in on my world as an artist. So this is the first one that starts out uh, with sketching. The next couple ones are going to elevate your skill level, right? Everyone starts out at zero. So I figured I might as well start off with a sketching video. And let me know if you guys liked it, if you guys enjoyed it. I threw a few uh, Easter eggs in there. Uh, I'm a fan of all type of uh, films. So let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe if you like it. And remember, every day is an opportunity to create something beautiful. Adios.